So what are the different ways of praying? So we talked a little bit about uh, vocal prayers. Mm -hmm. And so um, again, with the vocal prayers, try to pray from your heart. That's really important. Um, pray from your heart. And uh, we can use the prayers of the church or we can just use our, our own words, mm -hmm. right? Um, St. Therese says, you know, uh, when I speak to God, I don't use fancy sentences and, uh, or, or lofty images or anything like that. I, I just say what comes from my, my heart and He always understands me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes we approach the Lord too formally, right? We, we, we wanna say the right words and no, God, God doesn't care about that. Mm -hmm. um, just speak from your heart. You know, don't worry about the grammar or the vocabulary or sentence structure or whatever. That's silly. I mean, it's a personal relationship. He, he doesn't care about that. He really wants you to just speak from your heart. Use your own words. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah. And again, it doesn't have to um, be audible. Just say it from your heart. You, know, mm -hmm. you, you think it because he, he, he knows it. So you, uh, because, you know, if, you, if you're sitting in a Blessed Sacrament Chapel, you don't want to be <laughs> vocalizing um, what's in your heart. But, you, but pour out your heart to Him, um, and, 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 and he, he understands every time. And he, he prefers that. He always says, be simple, like a child, mm -hmm. right? Like a child, when a child speaks to his or her mother or father, right? He or she doesn't care to mm -hmm. use fancy words or to impress them. He, they say whatever comes to mind. And so that's the thing about vocal prayers is um, just make sure, um, just say it from your heart, mm -hmm. personalize it. And then um, an another type of prayer or another way to pray is meditation. Mm -hmm. And so we hear a lot about meditation nowadays in the secular world. And I think that's different than what we're talking about in terms of the Catholic tradition. Uh, for the Catholic tradition, meditation is more about um, thinking about about something. Um, one example is scripture. Mm -hmm. We can meditate on scripture, uh, Lexio Divina, um, you know, re reading scripture prayerfully, asking God what He is telling us in the scripture and how it applies to you, and then speaking to God about, about that. And so I, I do that a lot. That's where I prepare my homilies is, is uh, in the Blessed Sacrament Chapel. Mm -hmm. I read the readings, I, I underline, I make notes, and then I, I, I'm working with God, asking Him to reveal to me, to help me what it is that He wants me to get from these readings, and what it is that He wants me to communicate to the congregation, and how to do it, right? And I think one of the important things, too, about meditation is that we're engaging our mind, our heart, our imagination on the text, or whatever we're meditating on, but all, we all, it calls a response. So we're meditating, we're hearing what God wants to tell us so that we respond to it. So our response is our love back. We receive God's love, we offer our, God, our love back. Right, right. And I, uh, I think I have the three R's for, for Lexio Divina. Read, mm -hmm. reflect, and respond. Right. Mm -hmm. Read, reflect, and respond. Right, again, it's about a conversation, it's about a relationship. Um, and that's how we, we get something out of it. When, when after we ref reflect to see what it is that God is speaking to us, then respond. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I'm gonna do this, or yes, you know. When, yeah. when, right? And what other ways are there to pray? And um, another way is um, um, med med meditation. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, so with meditation, you, you, can, you, uh, you, use, the, you use the word imagination, mm -hmm. and that's sort of the St. Ignatius way mm -hmm. to enter into scripture. Um, you know, to, to put yourself in the scene, if you will. Mm -hmm. When you're reading the scene, uh, whatever it may be, put yourself there. What do you see? What do you smell? What do you feel? Uh -huh. um, again, use your imag imagination. That's another way um, to meditate. And also uh, praying the rosary, mm -hmm. right? When we're praying the rosary, that's a combination of vocal and meditation. Um, um, and while you're praying the Hail Mary, you, you're meditating on the mysteries of the rosary. So again, um, you can ask God, okay, what, what is it that you want me to, uh, to know about the Annunciation? Mm -hmm. What is it that you want me, me to take from this Annunciation? Or put yourself at the scene, mm -hmm. there, with Mary and, and the angel. What do you see? What do you feel? I mean, right? Um, so, yeah, we should meditate on um, the mysteries of the Rosary. Tell me about contemplation. That's always been sort of an elusive way of prayer for me. I don't really understand it. Right. 
And I think it is for a lot of people, uh -huh. right? They think it, that's so lofty and it's only for the mystics or uh -huh. the saints. Um, but it is quite simple, but it does take practice. It mm -hmm. is a challenge. Um, so, you know, with a vocal uh, prayer, we're, we're, we're vocalizing or we're, we're expressing um, to, to the Lord exactly in words. Uh, and um, in meditation, we're, we're looking at the scripture and, and so on. But in contemplation, it's a time to be quiet. It's just a time to rest, to acknowledge God's presence, um, just to be with Him. Um, you know, um, the, cur the cure of ours, right, when mm -hmm. he saw this gentleman come in to adore Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, and he never sees his, his lips moving. And so he asked him one day, so what do you do? And he says, well, I, I look at Jesus, and he looks at me. Mm. And, that, and, it, and that's what it is, really. It's just being with Jesus, uh, being with God, um, just contemplating Him, right? E either in the Blessed Sacrament or even in your heart, knowing that the Holy Trinity dwells within us, mm -hmm. we can contemplate at any time. Just turn inward, just to be at peace, uh, to be recollected, and to, you know, and, and so we can go in and out of vocal meditation and contemplation. You know, sometimes I'm speaking to God, sometimes I'm meditating on His mysteries, and sometimes I'm just being quiet and just spending time with Him. And it's about loving. Um, mm -hmm. so, so it's about maybe when you're, when you're with um, your, your husband, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't need to speak, mm -hmm. right? It's okay yeah. just to be in the presence of each other. And, and you're loving each other without really saying anything. Perhaps it's actually sometimes words get in the way. Right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes lovers, um, they can just be in a room together, be in, be in the presence of each, each other, and that's enough. They don't need to say anything. They, they already know. They can communicate without words. And that's what contemplation is. It's about loving, communicating uh, without words. It's just being in the presence of the Lord, uh, loving Him and receiving His love. And how does that contrast to some of the meditation techniques that are very popular here in um, the U.S. and around the world right now? It seems like a lot of people are um, trying to get into meditation in one form or another. Right. Um, and the, the focus there is not on God. Mm -hmm. It's really on the self, mm -hmm. um, on the self, on, on one's breath. Um, on one's surroundings, on where one is present. So I think it's, um, it could be a stepping stone to mm -hmm. contemplation, but they stop short of recognizing that um, the, the person, the source of our breath, which is the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. really. So we can, we can use that as a stepping stone to be collected, to be present, and to, um, to be aware of your breathing, mm -hmm. your surrounding. And, but once you're aware, you should be aware of God's presence in you. The Holy Trinity dwells in you, lives in you, and, and loving you, and waiting for you to respond to His love. And so um, we can use that as a stepping stone. But to, again, the, the focus isn't not on ourselves uh, or on our breath, but on God's presence um, and, and His love for us and to love Him in return. That's beautiful. Um, can you tell me about the different types of prayer? Right, and I, th I think this is important because I, a lady just came up to me a couple weeks ago and she wanted to really to learn about prayer. And she said, you know, every time I go to God, it seems like I'm asking for something. Uh -huh. I want to learn how to pray. Is there, is there more to prayer than just asking for something? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. And so um, I, I learned this acronym from uh, Peter Kraft, Peter uh -huh. Kraft, Professor Peter Kraft. And he uses the acronym, acronym ATRIP. A T R I P, a trip. So think of prayer as a trip to God, mm -hmm. a trip to heaven, if you will. And it should be in this order. Um, so A stands for adoration, um, adoring God for who He is, His attributes, His greatness, His goodness, right? Just spending time adoring Him for who He is. He is worthy of our adoration. He's the only one that's worthy of our adoration to adore God, uh, His presence. Um, and who he is. Um, so, and then the T is thanksgiving, giving thanks to God for all our blessings, for our uh, prayers that have been answered, for his goodness, for his love, for his providence, and, and praise him, right? Uh, praise and thanksgiving for God, for what he has done for us, okay? And then R is repentance, 
um, repenting for our sins, um, being sorrow, being sorry for our sins, how we have not responded fully um, to God's goodness to us, and, and saying sorry, contrition. And then I is to intercede for others, intercessions. Um, you know, oftentimes we think of ourselves, but we're called to be intercessors, to, to, to cooperate with God in building His kingdom on earth. He wants us to help each other. So pray for others, pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for your church, pray for your priests, pray for the world, right? Um, our prayers do make a difference, and God is counting on us to, to pray, to intercede for others. And then lastly is P, which, which is um, petition. Then we pray for ourselves last, you know, what it is that we want, what it is that we need and desire. So I think you know that's that's a good way for people to remember the different types of prayer to not just not just ask for something but to ask for something last. So the first thing is we adore God for who He is. We give Him thanks and praise for what He has done for us. Um, we are repentance of our sins and we intercede for others, and then uh, we um, offer our petitions for ourselves. And uh, let's talk about distractions, if we will. Oh, right? sure. Mm -hmm. um, because that's, um, that's a common problem that hap occurrences uh, that, that happens during prayer is, you know, we become distracted. And so, um, again, we're human, and so we're, it's going to be easy for us to, to be distracted. Um, so first, ask for the gift. You know, we talked about asking for the gift of the Holy Spirit to help us to be present, to be recollected. Um, and then, but if we do get distracted, um, you know, as soon as we realize that we were distracted, it's to bring our mind, our mind gently back to God, to net, not, not beat ourselves up, not to get upset about it, because we're only human, because that only makes it worse if we, if we get upset. Um, because no, just to be humble and just to bring our mind gently back to the Lord. Uh, again, it's, it's good not to try to try not to entertain these distractions when something happened. Let's just try to put it aside. Um, St. Teresa of Avila says, see everything, see distractions as, as a fly, right? Just shoo it away and bring your mind gently back. Don't get all worked up. Don't get too upset about a fly. And once you realize, it just, just, just kind of ignore it uh -huh. and then bring your attention back to the Lord. And so prayer, it's important to speak from your heart mm -hmm. and um, just, just to be who you are. And um, don't have to use fancy words or anything like that. Just, just speak from your heart. And then try the different types of prayer and then see what works for you. Mm -hmm. See what works for you. You know, vocal, meditation, contemplation. Um, and the, and the, the more you do it, the more grace you will receive, mm -hmm. right? The more effort we make, the more God will bless us with graces so that we may grow in, in, in our prayer life. So al always pray with faith. You know, uh -huh. Jesus speaks about having that faith. Um, knowing that God is there, knowing that He hears us, and that he, he will answer us according to His will. I have a great quote from Hebrews on that. Um, it says, and without faith it is impossible to please Him, speaking of God, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who seek Him. So we really must believe. Right. And I think what, what I hear a lot from people is they don't feel that God is close. They don't feel that God hears them. They don't feel that God is answering their prayers. Again, you know, we, we rely too much on the senses and on feelings. A lot of times our feelings are, are deceiving us. They're not right. And so, um, and God likes somebody who has faith. Um, so e even if we feel God is far away, um, and he's not responding, know that he is there. Have faith. Sometimes we have to make acts of faith. You mm -hmm. know, when you go in the Blessed Sacrament Chapel, you can say, Lord, even though I don't feel that you're there, I know you're there. I know you can hear me. I know you're looking at me. I know you're loving me. Sometimes we have to make acts of faith. I know you care about me, and, and, and whatever I pray, um, you, you, you hear, and you will give me what is best. Well, this has been really helpful. Um, is there anything else or closing thoughts you'd like to give us on prayer? All right. So just, just to kind of wrap up, you know, mm -hmm. prayer is not that complicated. Um, and it's something that God has already instilled in us, that desire to pray. So if you're watching this video, you're already responding to God's invitation 
to pray, to come to Him, to know Him, to enter into this life that He has created us for, this intimate relationship with Him. And that's what prayer is for. It's essential. If we don't pray, we're never going to grow in our faith. We're never going to grow in our relationship with God. We're never going to become who God made us to be. Thank you.